Howdy folks, TJ here. I have a new box that's going to assist my Omni laptop to do wonderful things. Work on a larger screen, but with ease, without having to use that SCART to HDMI connector that I've shown in past videos. I posted a, a note in the Timex Sinclair Facebook group and a gentleman, uh, you probably know him, Don Superfo. He makes all sorts of wonderful specky boards and add-ons and you name it. I had posted on there if the HDMI port, you'll see there's actually one. I don't know if this is big enough. It comes with one. But the Omni doesn't have that capability. There's not something inside of it to make that port work. And it's been a number of years now since this was introduced, so I, I don't know if it will ever happen. Uh, I had posted in there, hey, you, any news on it? And basically there's none at this point. But somebody, and Don, posted up saying, hey, there's this adapter that's relatively cheap that will make a simpler connection than using your SCART to HDMI connector, which is what I've been using. And uh, so I went ahead and purchased one, and we're going to actually give it a try and see if it works. So here's the box. It's a level hike HD cable for Genesis. So this is a Genesis type of cable that happens to have the same port on the back of the uh, Omni that should work with this and not have to use a USB power supply to give it power per dawn. So that's very cool. So I said for 30 bucks, I think it was $29.95, and we've got Prime, so no charge for shipping. Uh, Sega Genesis, it's made for that. And... Let's go ahead and do a little unboxing. So the box is pretty generic other than the front's got this cute little monkey and it looks like his, uh, his eyes are actually a joy pad, I guess. So that's kind of cool. So we'll do a box opening and then I'll actually make the connection and see if this works. Uh, so inside the box, it looks like it comes with just one little one year warranty uh, page and that's it on that. And then inside the plastic bag, let's go ahead and open it up. So inside we've got a number of, well, quite a few adapters and cables here, so I'm not quite sure which ones I'll be using, but it looks like they've included a HDMI cable. Uh, this one looks like a power cable of some kind, USB to micro uh, type of port cable. This one looks like what's going to plug into the back of the Omni. And this side looks like it will probably take this adapter. And this adapter has a little round plug on the end. And on this side, it's got an HDMI port. So I've got to actually uh, read up a little bit, but it looks like probably what will be happening is uh, this will actually probably plug into the back of the Omni. And then this will plug into the back of the uh, HDMI port on the TV. This I'm going to have to explore. I don't think you will need this. I have to look. This is a larger cable. I'm not sure what this one's for. And I'm pretty sure, just by looking at the size, I'm pretty sure this one's going to be plugging in here. And then this goes right out to the HDMI. So anyway, now's testing time. So that's just a quick little unboxing for what came in the box. And we're going to try to make my Omni laptop work with a larger TV without the... Uh, lag that SCAR teach name my adapter has or the girth which is pretty good size all sorts of stuff this would be a lot simpler so let's give it a try all right I actually tested this setup and it worked pretty good not perfect I think HDMI if I was running like the ZX HD and going directly to uh, HDMI, uh, HDMI without an adapter like this, quality would be much better. If you've ever used ZX HD on any of the speckies, video looks pretty good. Uh, this looks very similar in terms of quality to the, as the SCART connector that I was using, um, but it's much, like I said, it's just this little dongle here and that's it. I don't have to power it. Uh, although maybe if you put power to it, maybe the quality will change a little bit. I haven't uh, tested for that yet, but I think this is good enough for what I'm looking to do. So I thought I'd do a quick test. Uh, I'll go ahead and turn on the TV. So what I've done is it's indeed just this adapter alone plugged directly into the back of my Omni. In this case, it's the Omni 128 laptop. 
HDMI cable going from this to the TV. There is a little switch box on here that lets you switch between 4 to 3 ratio or 16 to 9 ratio, which is good for any of those folks that, oh, it's going to be 4-3. I know in some cases I prefer 4-3, but I'm also fine with 16 by 9 in some cases. In this case, I don't see any settings on the TV to alter that. So having that as a switch for those times that you want to go 4-3, uh, at least on this setup, is kind of a nice feature. So let's go ahead and open her up and turn it on. Now hopefully everything still works. Took a few, few seconds last time to kick in. There we go. And so that's the 16-9 ratio. So right off the bat, quality, I do see some black uh, lines here on the screen. And the, the text is quite dark. It's a um, little uh, damp. I don't know what word to use. Saturated, I guess. Um, so the quality, I would say, is probably very similar to what I was getting from my SCART adapter. But I can change it to the 4.3 on the fly. And that does look a little bit better, but you still have um, these little bit of uh, impurities in here. But let's just go ahead and load up a game. So uh, let's see. NMI button... And one that's nice and fairly colorful that I like playing is Grid Trap. Now, the one thing I notice is the sound's not very loud. It is piping sound through the RGB uh, cable back here. It's definitely not coming out of my Omni. Uh, part of me thinks that I could run a uh, little speaker cable from this to a little uh, speaker. Or there is a headphone jack on the back of this, so I don't know if I connected the speakers to the headphone jack, if it would be any different. But right now I'm turning up the volume pretty high, and I'm just kind of hearing it. So don't know if that's uh, an issue or not, but let's go ahead and hit uh, zero. We'll play a quick game. So you can, it's kind of uh, low. Uh, zero. So... Oh, where am I? So actually, the colors, everything looks pretty good. And I don't notice any real lag on use. Let's go ahead and I get zapped. Oh. There we go, zapped. So, yeah, video looks really good. I think I'm going to have to tinker with the sound, though, because uh, it is quite low. I didn't realize, though, that this one cable actually pipes out the sound too, but now that I think about it, no, I wasn't using sound through my SCART HDMI adapter either. I was always plugging a TV or a speakers directly into the back of here. So, yeah, quality of the video looks fairly decent to me. I would say on par to the SCART adapter, um, much smaller device. And I also need to make a correction earlier in my intro. I mentioned that I had saw it on the Timex Sinclair Facebook group. That's not the case. I actually saw it in the Omni Facebook group. So that's where Don Superfo kind of answered, saying this little box should do the trick, and it is. I need to now just play with my sound a little bit. I think external speakers is still gonna be a necessity, or I can plug my uh, uh, tinker with this and see if there's any way to get sound louder. But I don't think so. I'm not aware of any settings that will do that. So anyway, in terms of video, Success. I like the little device. I think it's for nights I want to plug up to my big screen in the other room or my projector. That's HDMI. Very cool. And I'll always run sound out from the back of this for nice uh, loud sound effects. So I think I'll be sticking with that routine. So anyway, hopefully you found this video helpful. And uh, for 30 bucks, I highly recommend it because the SCART to HDMI adapters are typically around $40. And uh, they're SCART. So if you're in the United States, you don't typically have SCART-based TV. So cutting out some of that extra cabling, awesome. And then I will also find out what this extra cable is about. It looks to me like an RGB, a, a larger standard RGB type of connection. And then you could plug this into here. I'm not quite sure. I'm going to have to Google it and go to their website and see because I'm not 100% up to speed, but maybe alternative uh, computers or consoles that have a larger uh, connector that's like this, you can also use this little device. So, cool. Thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See ya. Actually, just a quick little add-on. I tried a different game, and it's definitely much louder at about 50% for the sound and definitely a bit louder. So I think it's going to vary depending on what game I'm playing with my Speccy.
but this one's fairly decent for sound, but I'm thinking again the sound may be best to go uh, out of some other speakers, but actually sounds pretty good here at about 50% on a different game. Cool.